Hey guys, Ali here from Local Knowledge. Today I got Guy Trotter from Surface Sunscreen with me. They were selling Surface at Dana Landing where I keep my boat and I fish out of all the time. I've told you this, I hate sunscreen. Yes. It is the <laughs> worst of the necessary evils, you right? And, both. and so the guys at the shop were saying, hey, try the Surface stuff. It doesn't feel all greasy and crappy, sure. which was like, I'm in, right? So I, I tried a tube of it, I loved it. Rush started using it on my boat, he loves it. And they were like, hey man, I don't think fishermen know anything about sunscreen, myself included, sure. and I'm hoping we can learn a little more from you today. So like, your story's cool. Why did you start making sunscreen? It really started the whole thing with with the idea that that there was a missing gap in sunscreen, uh, you know, that was promoting towards action sports and different parts of action sports. I've traveled the world surfing and and been around, and I've always hated sunscreen. And I just uh, just wanted to create something that that I liked and something that I was comfortable to wear. And I realized that the number one reason why people don't like to use sunscreen is discomfort. They just don't like to wear it. It's it's a goopy, sticky, whatever the, they say. And so I really set out to create something that just really spoke to those people in a different way and, al and allowed them to wear it continually. I think that's what stands out in using this stuff. It doesn't bother me. So I know you kind of have a few different formulations. The clear zinc is far and away my favorite. The dry touch is awesome too. But like, why? Why did you make so many different formulas? What, what's the different applications? Most everybody that's out there, they're not only fishing, but they're also working during the week. They're construction workers, they're valet parkers, they're doing things outside, they're going to family picnics. So I wanted to make sure that, that we had products that kind of spoke to those people during that time. And the original product I came out with was the dry touch product. So the dry touch product actually came about with off-road racers and, motorcycle, and motocross. I and mean, they didn't want stuff sticking to them. So yeah, that's a big deal. You're eating and dust all day. In sure. fact, that's what we keep in our Can-Am. Yeah. Keeps you from getting greasy and turning into human sandpaper, basically. Exactly, exactly. And then, we, you know, a lot of the people that we, we talk to are mainly got, mainly men. We, they didn't want to smell like a coconut out in the, out in the desert. So, mm -hmm. fragrance-free. And, uh, and then, obviously, for the surf world and things like that, we created the physical line or the zinc line. Gotcha. So sunscreen works two different ways, right? Mm -hmm. There's two different methodologies to it. What are the two and how are they different? Uh, there's what we call a filtered ingredients and then there's a, there's a physical barrier. Okay. Filtered ingredient sunscreens soak into your skin and they filter the, the sun's harmful rays. Okay. Okay. Physical barriers, they rest on top of your skin and they reflect the rays. That's what's so cool about the clear zinc is you get the benefit of the physical without yeah. looking like it's a zombie. zombie. Yeah. This is all I need to go fishing. <laughs> right. Right. Like right. this yeah. stays in my pocket and I reapply this all day long because burnt lips suck. Yep. And then this, I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah. And then let's talk just for one more minute about the sticks. Like I really do dig these because I don't want crap on my hands when I'm fishing. I don't want scent, which is why dry touch is sure. awesome. I don't want to stink up my bait. And these are really cool because you just don't have to touch the product. In application, you know, the, the sticks, we have a, a face and body stick that goes on clear, but it but you don't have to touch your hands and stuff. Yeah, There's minimal like touch as possible. Same with the sprays. The sprays, again, obviously, we, you know, you want to stay away from any of the expensive equipment on a boat. Maybe do it before you board a boat, yep. but it's really convenient to do. No, you've done that, man. It's awesome stuff. Yeah. So I know you're really big on reef safe and sustainability, recycling, yeah. all that. I mean, everything you see here is recyclable. Awesome. Um, and we actually came out with, uh, you know, th these are 100% polypropylene cap and body. Mm -hmm. So they're completely recyclable. Aluminum cans are recyclable. This is total post-consumer product tube, which has been recycled once, it can be recycled again. Gotcha. Um, this right here, this is one of our favorite things. This is actually um, ocean plastic recycled packaging that you That's know great. and again for the surfers and for fishing guys this is just a perfect product it doesn't migrate doesn't move man that's awesome well we're really stoked on the product we're stoked to have you here stoked to learn some more about it i think i mean in a word it's comfort and responsibility and you guys are doing a great job of both of those Thank we're you. stoked to partner with surface and yeah man let's have a great year together yeah. all right there you have it guys everything you want to know about sunscreen probably a little more our boy guy here obviously a sunscreen ninja Hopefully this was valuable for you guys too. Check them out, surfacesunscreen.com. And they're also selling it in a lot of the Southern California surf and tackle shops. We'll see you guys soon.